trapped in a time lapse. These legs are so difficult to work with. Yes, yes. Let's go, let's go. We're good. We've good. been filming this entire time. Cool. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so this is the kind of problem that you guys are expecting to run up against, which is the um, like, like a two pivot kind of like bridge problem. So we've got a plane one point six meters long, fifty newtons, and we've got a physicist six hundred newtons bravely standing. 0.4 meters from the end of the paint from pivot point B. And what we want to do is work out the support forces to hold up this plank. We have to have support forces pushing up from each of these pivot points. So support force A and probably a little bit bigger because our physicist is closer to it is going to be support force B. So the way we're going to solve these problems is by using torques. I'm going to start by calculating the torques about one of the pivot points. And so the torque of the plank, force times distance. How much is our distance to the force of the plank from the pivot point A? Wait. Newtons to the, oh, the weight of the plank. 0.6, good. What? <laughs> but how? Oh, it is 0.6. How? So, this is to put about pivot point A. And what about the torque of the brave physicist? Brave, don't even racist. <laughs> Cut that out. That's a brave racist. <laughs> nah, you don't get it, sir. It's funny. So, how, what's the distance to the physicist? How far from here to here? Oh, that's oh. It's easy. Yeah. Is there a point at? Good. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so long. Yeah. How long was he filming? Oh, you're busy. Yeah, I'm all like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all like. 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 And so we're going to talk of 30 because of the plank and 480 because of the physicist. What's our total talk clockwise? These, these talks are both acting that way. Total 510. 510. And so what we know is that for equilibrium, because this bridge isn't twisting, this plank isn't twisting, we know that the torque anti-clockwise must be the same as the torque clockwise. And the only thing that can be pushing anti-clockwise is this pivot point B here with support force B. And so we know that support force B must be the total torque over the distance. Which distance? Well, it's the distance from this pivot point, the one that things are rotating around, to this pivot point. How far is that? Very well, Must be 
two to five newtons. And so how did we work that out? This here is equilibrium of forces. Which is that F up is equal to F down. How did we work this out? This is equilibrium of torques. So torque 